Everyone, now you just saw the uh, the latest vote totals for a governor and U.S. Senate, but there are several other key races we're tracking for you tonight. Yeah, right now, if you're looking at your screen, with about 55 precincts reporting, Republican incumbent Ryan Kemp is on the lead right now with about 55% of the vote. So we do want to talk about some of those other races we're following for you. Let's bring in 11 Lives Caitlin Ross right now with a look at some of the other matchups that are on the ballot for you. So many interesting things to watch and the numbers are piling in. So we're getting these votes that are updating just minute by minute. This is exciting if you're watching the polls and we want to bring these numbers right to you. First, we're going to start with the lieutenant governor's race. Here you're going to see Burt Jones, who's the Republican, leading Charlie Bailey, who's the Democrat. Next, going to the Secretary of State's office, Republican Brad Raffensperger now at 54% with challenger V. Wynn at 43%. Another big race here, the House 6th District. You have Republican Rich McCormick with a commanding lead 62% over Democrat Bob Christensen. Another race here, the 7th District. This district has been called now incumbent Lucy McBath winning with 64% of the vote. Lastly, we want to show you the U.S. House 14th District. There you have incumbent Republican Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, 67% of the vote there, that one being called for her as well. So we're keeping up on all of these races that are down the ballot, and I know these numbers are coming in very fast, so we're going to make sure we keep refreshing those pages and bringing you the numbers as soon as we get them. We'll be right back.